What is going on, everybody? My name is Bear Ridge. Welcome back. Episode number 22 of my path to power. Today, we're going to be unlocking the team of the group stage Komen objective, which expired last week. But this is the gameplay from how we unlocked him. In order to unlock him, you needed to get an assist and score a goal using Bundesliga players in the same game. Assist from eight crosses. They didn't have to be in separate games. Assist in 15 separate games using Bundesliga players. Needed to score eight finesse shots with four star skillers and we needed to win seven games. This is the team that I used, had Nubel in goal because he was the lowest rated, Mbabu at right back, Klosterman and Umpa Meccano as the two centre backs, had Alfonso Davis at left back, Lemire played as the CDMs, I had Malong and Rashika as the two centre mids, I had Bailey go on the right wing, Bellarabi on the left wing and then the one to watch Juan He Chan play up top. So going into game number one, we come up against another Bundesliga team. Very solid, lots of the same players that we have. The front three is completely identical. It was a very deadly front three um, and it brought us a lot of success as you're going to see throughout this. Now, these objectives are a lot of fun. I've got to say the friendly game mode this year is by far my favorite game mode to, but it's by far my favorite thing to play on this FIFA. It's has so much less stress. And I feel like the rewards are much, much better. Earlier on in the uh, game cycle, I know I was doing a lot of foot champs gameplay. I was going to do some foot champs challenges. But honestly, it's just so much more enjoyable and so much more rewarding unlocking these players. They are far, far better than any of the red picks that you can possibly pick up. Um, you have to get extremely lucky. I don't think I've ever got a half decent red pick. Um, I haven't got anything decent this year. I've just sort of given up on uh, foot champs. It's way too much stress. It's too many games. And I don't even feel like getting to 14 wins is really that rewarding. So this is why I've been enjoying the objectives. They're, they just allow you to use different players. And obviously, I feel like at the end of the day, the most satisfying thing is collecting all of these cards. And uh, these game modes are fantastic because they give you an opportunity to try out some different ones. Um, and so, yeah, this is sort of these are the sort of videos that I really enjoy doing. I hope that you guys are enjoying them as well. Um, as you can see in this first game, we're already six and up. The guy bought on Cristiano Ronaldo, of all people. This is a definite tactic that people have been trying and using to sub on these meta players to try and give them an advantage. Um, you know, people subbing on. Um, Mbappe, Neymar, um, just having a generally weak team going all for the attack. Um, yeah, and you see this, uh, that there, right? So our opponents sort of stopped playing at this point. No idea what was going on there. The cross was a perfectly timed cross. Should have been uh, finishing that. Thankfully, we get that one. But yeah, like I said, he's not playing. We managed to complete four crosses in the first game. Plus, we got the goal and the assist. And we managed to get three finesse shots. So it was a pretty good start. I had a lot of missed chances as well that I've cut out from there that just weren't going in. They are it, The fact that um, crosses are so difficult when your opponent isn't playing um, really sums it up. Yeah, it's a really difficult objective, but thankfully, as you can see in this game, our opponent has then decided to give us a goal here. So that gets us another cross. We're up to five, um, but then he wouldn't let us attack and get another goal. So I thought, all right, let's see if he'll uh, do it if we give him a goal. So uh, he gets a cross here. Um, and then you can see we're sort of trading one for one. I was a bit, I wanted to try and get the win, but I could see this guy trying to get the win as well. So I was like, okay, we'll just do our objectives until um, we complete as many of them as possible. And then um, when he probably stops helping us out, which does happen, um, then uh, hopefully we can try and win the game. So this part of gameplay is not that enthralling, I'll be honest. It's a lot of us moving our goalkeepers and defenders out of the way, um, using the offside trap to uh, pull our centre backs out of the way to make the crossing so much easier. Um, that's a tactic that not a lot of people use when doing this. Also, some people I've noticed don't know how to move their goalkeeper. If you don't move your goalkeeper, press down on your right thumbstick um, on the PlayStation, it's the R3 button. And then whilst holding it down, just move him to the side and it moves him out of the way. As you can see now, opponent stopped after they scored their fifth goal. They scored a lovely goal there with Jao Felix. However, that was their sixth shot of the game. And then they go on and only have one more in extra time. Meanwhile, 
um, I think I end this game with like 13 shots, um, scoring dodgy goals like that. Go to a penalty shootout in the end as we can't finish our chances. Um, love a good penalty shootout, uh, it's always good fun. Put that one bottom left. He also goes just to the left and uh, manages to score. We go bottom left again, um, seems to be the tactic for us. And then uh, we try and dive to save that, but it still goes in. Our keeper dives on the spot. Go bottom left again, and we score again. Um, and it now makes it 3-2. He puts it top right. Very nice penalty, and uh, that gives us an advantage. Then we go bottom right. Our guy doesn't, well, our opponent doesn't move. He goes down the middle now, and that leaves it at 4-4. Go bottom left again. Try and time it. Doesn't allow it, and it hits the post. The smallest bit of the outer circle was there. That should have been in. Thankfully, we managed to save it. But then what goes and happens? Yeah, of course, we go bottom left and he saves it. He catches on to the fact that we're going bottom left. He puts it top right. And I felt really hard done by that. I should have won that game. The amount, like I said, we had like 13 shots. We had more shots on target than he had shots. He had all of his shots on target, um, all seven. And five of them, we let him have. Um, so, yeah, that guy was not very good. And that's a big problem with... Uh, that's a big problem with FIFA, even in friendlies. I mean, obviously, like, it's less competitive in foot champs. Um, we absolutely use, absolutely sweat it out in foot champs. I mean, I know that I, um, I'm i still going to put chemistry styles on my players. I'm still going to use the best team possible. I want to use as, some fun players as well. But um, we need to win for the objective. So, obviously, I'm going to be disappointed when I uh, don't manage to win. And, uh, yeah, that's the big problem is that it just feels like sometimes the game cannot let you win, even if you are quite clearly the better player. This is where conversations about things like DDA and momentum and stuff will come about because just the game is a bit dodgy. Um, it always has been, that's the problem. Uh, but it's the best football game there is, being football fans. We have to play it if we want to. It's also the, the card collection is just fantastic. Like, I don't know how many of you had match attacks when you were younger, but that idea, that feeling of, you know, getting a 101 club was amazing. Um, and the difference here is effectively you're collecting them, but this time you're actually able to use them in game. And yeah, that's what's the fun part. No idea what happened with that goal there. Um, Put him out to get through, and then what? Oh, this is dodgy as well. Tackle him, clears it to him. I press pass, doesn't register, get tackled again, and he crosses it straight at the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper doesn't get it, and uh, yeah, straight at the near post. It's such that's the that's what annoys people. You see, like, can see dodgy goals like that. Get a lovely cross there. We actually did this the day after crossing got patched. The R1 squares, they definitely still usable. They definitely are still usable. That was dodgy as well. It looks like he's done the skill move. What's actually happened here is Lemaire has actually uh, touched the ball through for him. So uh, thankfully, though, we get extremely, extremely lucky. Gedson Fernandez tackles it, falls to Alex Texera. He's onside. That picks us up another win. That actually put us on four out of eight finesse shots. We got three in the first game, and then we uh, weren't able to actually score any in the next few. Um, but we, like I said, we only need to score eight. They don't have to be in the same game. We've got plenty of time to do them. And um, yeah, there's 15 games that we've got to play. I'm not going to show all 15 in this video um, because after a certain point, it's just pointless. Um, I Obviously, I'm just going to go and get the assists in the games. Don't even need the wins. Um, I did play for the wins. Uh, the uh, I think the only game I actually lost was the penalty shootout. So um, yeah, that was, uh, that was great. Uh, this goal is so jammy as well, like constantly bouncing around. And of all people, it's Malong that manages to finish it. Um, our opponent just got a really nice goal here. I feel like I tried to I tried to defend that. He does really well here to uh, get it back inside. And then the drag back, which is still kind of usable. Um, thankfully, there's no real drag back spam. Um, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, no, he, he's got a really nice goal there. We managed to get one back here. Juan He Chan, that's a finesse shot. That puts us on five out of eight in five games. So we're on a good pace for that. Get very lucky there with the bounce. And uh, Bellarabi makes a lovely run in. That gives us the win. Our opponent rage quits. We go into the next game. Our opponent has a silver goalkeeper. And he does actually use the silver goalkeeper for the entirety of the game. He also has Elvedi at centre back. I must say, that Elvedi card looks amazing. I've compared him to uh, Joe Gomez 
and I feel like he comes out on top, to be honest. I mean, obviously Gomez being English from the Premier League um, is a significant advantage in terms of chemistry. But if you have a Bundesliga team, um, yeah, get him in your squad. He is fantastic. Um, and he was a bit of a problem for us in this game. As you can see, we only managed to score in the second half. Um, a bit of a weird goal again from our opponent. I guess, I guess it was a nice finesse shot. Um, we are just scoring counters today and uh, we managed to make that seven out of eight finesse shots. That gives us a 2-1 lead. And then uh, another little through ball here into Diaz, who he subbed on. That plays in Bailey. Managed to ball roll it inside, finesse into the bomb corner, complete the finesse shot objectives and uh, finish out the game 3-1. We then come up against a Dutch team. The next video is actually going to be us going to unlock the Dutch players as well. They are fantastic looking cards. Um, some of the objectives this year, the free cards that you can unlock are amazing and uh, they are definitely worth it, especially for icon swaps, which at the time of um, uploading this video, the first swaps are out and you do need the Eredivisie, the EFL uh, championship players and the MLS players to unlock the squad battles ones. And then uh, Komen, who we're doing here, we can use for the Bundesliga one. He's probably one of the best left wingers um, in the league. So it's gonna be uh, a good card to use. And uh, yeah, we managed to smack that at the near post. I feel like, especially in this game mode managerial masterpiece, the uh, near post goals are actually better than going across goal, uh, particularly because the goalkeepers aren't good enough to save the shots at the near post. But also because people try and compensate for the fact they have a bad goalkeeper by moving their keeper across goal. And uh, so shooting at the near post is, I think, an advantage in this game mode. We go into the last game here. We're up against an Arsenal supporter. Obviously, we want to win. Play the ball into Juan He Chan. We uh, then manage to do a ball roll, slow it down, get a bit lucky, try and pass it through. Bastos tackles Bellarabi. Bellarabi gets it back. Smacks it in the top left corner. And... That gives us win number seven, but because it wasn't an assist, I then had to go and play another eight games still. Um, I played them off camera, like I said already. I won them all, and uh, that meant that we managed to unlock Komen, a very nice card. I think the only real issue with him is his lack of stamina, but he's going to be fantastic, particularly for icon swaps, and uh, the rewards back are okay. Um, and yeah, I can't complain. So yeah, these objectives, if you're not doing them, make sure you are because you are missing out on some of these cards. Um, they are fantastic. And yeah, they're just, like I said, just a lot of fun. It's the most refreshing thing about this is being able to come on FIFA, not stress, have fun, unlock these amazing, amazing cards and then uh, get to use them um, in the uh, one league objective. So there we have it. Komen has walked out. We've unlocked him. He's going into our club. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ben Ridge, and I will catch you all next time.